back to the Muppet Vlog. Now, this time, we're going to be looking into the 16th episode of Season 5 of The Muppet Show, which features Gladys Knight. Now, the first thing I should mention about Gladys Knight is that she is also known to be the Empress of Soul. And she has often been regarded as one of the greatest R&B artists of all time where she has actually won several Grammy Awards, both uh, in terms of solo and also with her group Gladys Knight and the Pips. Now, some of the songs that she actually won that Grammy Award, well, those Grammy Awards, include That's What Friends Are For, uh, At Last, Heaven Help Us All, and also One Voice. She has also received several Lifetime Achievement Awards and many different variety of that, including the Stardust Music Award Lifetime Diva Award, uh, the BET Lifetime Achievement Award, and also the BET Inaugural Best Living Legend Award, and also the Soul Train Music Award. And she even got an honorary doctorate in performing arts at Shaw University. Now, going into the episode that she appeared in, it's nothing too spectacular, honestly. Like, it's good, but it's more of your regular good. Especially after stepping out of the Carol Burnett episode, where it's so unique and it's totally different from any other Muppet Show episode that you would get, and how wild and cra crazy that is. This one just kind of seems a little bit more regular in comparison. Now, the whole scenario that's going on is that apparently Kermit just wanted to get the roof fixed to just solve the leaking problems and stuff like that. But it seems that the issue was so serious that the roofing company basically decided, well, you know what, we're just going to take the entire roof. So now the Muppets have to deal with the weather, considering that they don't have a roof anymore. And, like, there's hail, there's rain, there's winds, there's storms. Like, all the weather is pretty much a huge obstacle for the Muppets. Now, it's actually pretty interesting to mention about the elements of the weather. Because, uh, technically, the final shot that's ever been done for the entire series was actually one related with fog where apparently it was with Senior Buffy, where they tried to do this knife throwing act. You got this blind, like this blind knife thrower and his assistant couldn't make it. So it was up to Fozzie to do the job. And Fozzie was just a little bit confused. He didn't know what was going on. He was just freaked out over the fact that there's this guy throwing knives at him. And like he, like Buffy would pretty much go and throw knives at Whatever he hears, if someone makes a noise, he throws a knife at that direction. And, like, you can definitely tell the complexity of that scene. And, uh, it definitely is creative, but it, it is actually pretty interesting to know that this is the final shot ever of The Muppet Show. Like, I know the stories about Gene Kelly being the final episode that they filmed, but this one here in particular is the final shot ever. And there are also some other sketches in here that do relate to the weather. Like the first one was uh, the veterinarian's hospital where it, it was pretty much the first sketch after they got to take away the roof and pretty much the jokes would come, well literally would come down uh, like when it would hail and all that kind of stuff. So like the theme with the veterinarian's hospital is more related to the weather. And, uh, another one that happened was, uh, I'm trying to think, uh, wait, what's God bless? Oh, no, wait. Oh, wow. There really isn't a lot. The, the only other one, I guess, is just, uh, the, the finale where, uh, Gladys Knight would sing, uh, Heard It Through the Grapevine, where she's singing with all these other grapes on a grapevine, and then suddenly at the end, it would suddenly snow. And that's pretty much it. Like, there, like it does mention a lot about the weather elements, but all of it just happened backstage, where a lot of the strongest elements of the humor would actually be, be found over there. Now, there are, there are some uh, other sketches as well, like uh, Night and Day, where they decided to do an entire Egyptian theme. Well, not necessarily Egyptian. It's with... Archaeolo archaeologists, uh, they would go and discover this tomb, and then suddenly uh, these mummies would come in and they would all sing night and day. And then there's another one, which is the first one that Gladys Knight would sing. And I swear to God, 
I feel like this would be more of a Sesame Street song called Friendship Train, where uh, Gladys Knight and a few Muppets are on a train and they're singing this R&B song uh, like about friendship and togetherness and all that kind of stuff. And that's why I feel like when watching it, it's it would feel like it suits a lot more to something like Sesame Street because that's kind of the message they would want to bring out. So I honestly, actually, I wouldn't be surprised if they even sung Friendship Train uh, onto Sesame Street. In fact, let me just double check something if they actually did or oh, OK. Or, I don't know, maybe they, did, maybe they didn't mention, like, I'm using the Muppet Wiki, and um, it, it doesn't mention specifically. All it says is that it's just that Friendship Train was just sung by Gladys Knight, and literally that's pretty much it. Um, I, but yeah, like, at some point, Sesame Street should probably sing uh, Friendship Train. And then there are some uh, other ones. Are there other ones? Oh, yes, 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 yes. Well, there is uh, a more softer ballad where Walt is on the piano and Gladys Knight would go and sing God Bless the Child. And finally, there's another one, which is a caveman theme, which is uh, pretty interesting considering that not uh, like just a couple of episodes ago, we just went through an entire caveman sketch, but... With this one, it's uh, Alley Oop, where the main star is actually Animal, just trying to clobber whatever he can find, rather it be like a saber-toothed tiger, a bear, or even a dinosaur, while they're all singing the song. Well, uh, all the other cavemen are singing the song Alley Oop. And yeah, this isn't a too complicated episode to describe. It's more of your regular Muppet Show episode where the special guest star is just on the side, just singing her songs while a crazy scenario is happening backstage. So yeah, I guess that's the best way to put it. Overall, this is more of your standard good episode. Nothing that really stands out. It's just everything about it is actually well done. It's still entertaining, it's still really funny with the elements of weather coming in now that they no longer have a roof. And the special guest star does her job very well, singing many of her popular songs like uh, Friendship Train, God Bless the Child, or, no wait, God Bless the Child, I don't think that's her song. Uh, anyways, uh, and also I heard it through the grapevine. Well, she, she sang those songs really well, she does her job well, and uh, yeah, overall, not, nothing that really stands out. It's more of your regular good episode. But anyways, that is pretty much it with this episode of the Muppet Vlog. So I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching. And we shall see if maybe once they get a new roof, uh, things can actually be more apparent that something special could happen in the Muppet Show. Who knows? But we will only know until next time. So see you later, dudes.